Mm. Swine flu is basically a respiratory tract infection. So once you're sneezing or coughing, what you're gonna, you're coughing out the virus as well. Or when you're touching all these uh, infected objects with your hands, that will also uh, spread the infection. So this is important that you wash your hands properly, you cover your face, or the person who is suffering from the disease should actually cover the face so that he or she doesn't cough on the on a normal person. Because if he or she coughs on the normal person or sneezes on the normal person, he or she is bound to catch the infection. Also, hand washing is very important because once you touch infected material, you can also transfer the infection to yourself. In all probability, it is the mutation that has happened in the virus. Also, the virus obviously has learned to live in adverse conditions, has adapted that way to live in the adverse conditions. Thirdly, I think the number of cases being reported are higher because of the doctors, patients and the lab facilities being available. Doctors are more aware of the symptoms, patients are more aware of the symptoms because of the media coverage and it happening for the last couple of years and also investigation facilities especially to diagnose H1N1 are more commonly available nowadays rather than what was available a couple of years back. See swine flu virus basically is an upper respiratory tract infection. So runny nose, sneezing, blocked nose, cough, sore throat, fever, headache, body ache, they all could be symptoms of H1N1 virus. But what, what is important is once H1N1 infection or a swine flu infection is happening close in your close to your community or in your city, you should visit the doctor early rather than wait for rather than wait for problems to come in. Because if the if it is diagnosed and treated early, then you are in then you are much safer. If you if you go and visit your doctor later, then you are in for trouble. Especially if somebody comes with breathlessness or an altered sensorium then you're in for bigger trouble. So visit your doctor or your local practitioner at an early date if swine flu is happening commonly in your community. Because once it is diagnosed early, the treatment starts early and treatment is only effective once the treatment starts in the first couple of days. So basically you have to take precaution that you should cover your nose and uh, mouth well in contact when you are in coming in contact with a swine flu patient and you're washing your hands well. See, I think the authorities obviously are responsible, but what is also important is public awareness. Public awareness by the media, by the doctors, by everybody. That's what is more important because you have to save yourself. If you are not saving, protecting yourself, then you're, you're gone then. And also the patient who is suffering from swine flu or from any viral infection that is runny nose sneezing should see to it that he or she is protecting the other people from getting infected from him. Especially cover the face while you are sneezing or coughing. So authorities obviously should improve the hygiene, the, the pollution and all that has to be controlled. But even public awareness would reduce the number of this disease significantly. I don't think there is any reason to panic. We still, if it is diagnosed early, it can be controlled very well. Quite a, a, actually a large proportion of people, they would have a bit of runny nose, sneezing, cough, even if they have H1N1 and they don't have to worry. The, only awareness should be there and they should be knowing the symptoms when to report to the doctor. But there's nothing to panic. I, don't, I see no reason as to why the people should be panicking right now.